mean, what happened for you guys in the fourth quarter? Um, you know, I just think we didn't we didn't sustain the, the level of uh, focus and energy that we had in that second quarter. You know, I think it was um, they they pretty much dominated the first quarter. We dominated the second quarter, and then. You know, I, I think in their locker room, they're saying we got to have a big start to the third. And, you know, we did it in the first quarter. And they came out and they just, you know, picked up the pressure, picked up the aggressiveness. And, um, you know, it was almost like we just expected them to lay down, you know. And, um, you know, I think at the start of the quarter, they were they were trying to be aggressive. But, it, you know, they were definitely feeling it out. Like, you know, if this keeps going, we could have got them to just, you know, uh, maybe play some halfway through the third or play the third and then be done with it if we would have kept doing what we had been doing, but we didn't. And, um, you know, they, they got some momentum and they cut it to a, you know, I think it got to about 16 or 14 or something like that in the third quarter and they started to believe and um, uh, we just didn't handle it well. And, you know, they just kept picking it up more and more and more and um, was able to, you know, obviously come back and take the game. Beyond the Lakers' intensity, what what changed for you guys offensively to go from being in that group to having that kind of a run into the third quarter? Because you guys were getting what you wanted on multiple yeah. levels, and then it all went away. Uh, I think in the first half we was getting stops. Um, you know, we had some success with our zone. Uh, we, you know, we weren't taking the ball out the net, jumping it in. It was like coming off the rim, getting deflections. You know, we were rebounding the ball. And we were just pushing it out. You know, they, you know they, they're a team that likes to play in transition. They like to play with pace. Um, and most of the time, teams that prefer that and that do that well, they don't get back well. And I think in the first half, we kept putting them in that position where uh, we were uh, on a string defensively in that second quarter. We rebounded well out of it. And, you know, once we were pushing it back at them, they just, you know, we had them out of sorts. And we was getting to the rim. We was getting threes, you know, and it was all quality possessions because we weren't taking the ball out of the net as much. And um, I think in that third quarter, you know, they pretty much came out and they, um, you know, they got off to a better start than we did. And they built some confidence and, you know, they, they stuck to that. You know, they just kept getting more and more aggressive. I don't think what's happening is like what you envisioned or what you want. Uh, do you see it as an easy fix or something you can write out in your patience? Uh, I mean, nothing. Nothing is ever an easy fix. Um, you know, I don't. I don't think anything is ever just the easy fix in the NBA. You know, um, a lot of things have to. You know, have to be lined up. A lot of things have to align. You know, whether that's chemistry, um, you know, pieces fitting together, guys caring. You know, how much it matters. Um, so I don't. I don't ever think it's just like, oh, let's do this, and then you fix all your problems. Uh, you know, it's especially when a, a how we're struggling right now is usually a little bit deeper than that. You know, you got to try to find some solutions. You know, what what could we do better? Um, you know, maybe you run a list down of like, where are we struggling? Why? Are, you know, why is it? Why are we bleeding like this? You know what I mean? Um, and then you try to figure out, you figure out your way out of it. Um, you know, but it's, it's tough. You know, I don't know how else to describe it. It's definitely not how I saw things happening. Um, you know, I think the bright side of it is it seems like if you win three games in a row, you in the mix with everybody, you know? So um, the way I'm looking at it is it's a lot of teams that didn't see the season going this way. Um, you know, but like I said last time, the scary thing is a lot of those teams are starting. They putting wins together, and they they're playing better basketball. And for us, you know, we had the two wins against Dallas, and then you know we've dropped. You know, we lose the Orlando game, we lose uh, the other night. You know, we lose this one. So, um, you know, it's just tough. You mentioned there's a lot of things you have to look at yeah. and then chemistry and caring. Yeah. How would you say you guys are on chemistry? Uh, I think our chemistry is pretty good. Uh, you know, I think just when you talk about on the floor, when when we're on the floor, you know, our chemistry and how well we read each other and, um, you know, how we play off of each other, I think it's been good, you know, but the teams that are, are winning a lot of games, they're able to sustain it and do it all the time and do it at different parts of the game. Um, when things are going bad, you know, they're able to find things like, OK, I need to get in the pocket right here, make sure, you know, you space in the corner. We can kind of direct traffic ourselves and govern ourselves um, and figure it out. You know, when you're that connected, you know, you just you can figure it out while you're in a hit, while the team is on the run. You can communicate amongst yourselves and 
um, you know, just kind of regain control of the game. And I think uh, for us right now, um, offensively and defensively, you know, we just don't have that all the time. You know, we look into the sideline and, you know, looking for a direction. And I think when we can get to the point where we can just, um, you know, govern ourselves and figure things out for ourselves while we're in the middle of it sometimes, um, I think that would that would help us. I know you've yeah. always been sensitive around about trading deadline because you yeah. don't want to say, hey, I, I, I want to dictate what yeah. goes on with these guys' lives. But still, you've also been very vocal about, I want to win. Yeah. And obviously, your window is shrinking. Yeah. Are you hoping or anticipating that you guys will be active in the next couple of weeks? I mean, I want us. I mean, I don't. I want us to be in the best position to win. Um, you know, my job is to to play point guard and to be prepared and go out there and do what I do. Um, and er everybody has a job. And right now, we're not we're not winning. Right now, we haven't been consistent. Um, you know, but it's not my job to say um, who goes where or what needs to happen as far as the roster. You know, I that's not my job. But. Um, what I will say is right now we just not we not getting it done. So um, you know I, I do want to win. You know I don't think there's no secret that I, I want to win. And um, you know I think we gotta we gotta do whatever we have to do to be in a position to win. You know I think that's the the point of us us showing up is to to give ourselves the best chance to win. So um, you know I'm all for whatever whatever that means. To get to get to where you're talking about um, seems like a lot of moving parts and things that have to come together, and that requires. I mean, I'm confused that why y'all asking me these questions right now, honestly. Um, I respect it, but, you know, the bottom line is, um, you know, we at the midway point of the season and we're struggling right now. You know, we're not playing really well. Um, we've been in a lot of these games, you know, a lot of these, none of these games are just like we getting blown away. So I think as far as basketball goes, there are things we can do to be better. And we win some of these games, but I think just, I watch a lot of NBA games. I'm looking around the league and, um, every, no, there's no, there's maybe one or two teams that when I watch them, I'm like, man, they, you know, that's a dangerous team, but I'm not just looking around like nobody can be beat. So, um, you know, I think for people that are just on the, on the outside looking in, the problems, you know, the struggles that we've had are obvious. But, you know, I don't think it's I don't think it's fair for you all to be asking me these questions right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I think that's kind of a weak move. Um, you know, it's our team is struggling, you know, and I've been transparent about our struggles and stuff that we could do better. But y'all put y'all put that's y'all putting me in a position to to, you know, answer questions that I don't think is cool, man. Well, because a lot of this organization operates on your timeline. I understand. I understand. I understand that. No, I understand that. But, you know, there, there's people that you can ask those questions to. You know what I mean? And even if even if even if it is on me or whatever, they could answer your questions. So even if they did ask me a question and I gave them my opinion, you know, I'm sure they're going to give you whatever answer that they give you based on what reality is. But I'm saying I don't think it's cool for y'all to to be putting me in that position, you know, especially after a tough loss, we in a tough stretch like that ain't cool. You know what I mean? And I answer all y'all questions. And, you know, y'all, that's to me, that that feels like just a lack of respect to put me in that position. But it sounds like, last one, guys. It sounds like uh, because of the close game, because you guys feel like you're right there and you still feel confident. I mean, I, I, I mean, y'all know I'm always feel confident about coming out of it, and I, but I also think, you know, you can be right there for ten more games. You know, you can be saying that for twenty more games. We right there, you know. But at the end of the day, you have to, you got to come out on the other side. You know, you rather learn and wins. You want to learn in games that you win. So um, we are right there. You know what I'm saying? We had it was up twenty five points. You know, but then that part about staying sharp and finishing games, we weren't able to do, and it led to a loss. So, um, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of teams that can say we right there, you know, but you can still continue to lose games until you just decide to um, to be there, you know. And right now, we not there.